Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, and this is Virgo energy. So this is showing someone who has withdrawn from the situation, or they've withdrew from love. This person is isolating, they're spending time by themselves and really reflecting here in this period of solitude. Um, a lot is going on here for this person. I'm seeing spiritual growth. They're looking back at the connection and it's like they're trying to figure out the lesson. There's a lot of maturing taking place here, but it is happening, you know, behind the scenes in a period of solitude. Um, this person could be just wanting to keep to themselves right now, um, but they are getting some sort of enlightenment about themselves, their, their relationships, their patterns, their dynamics, how they, um, you know, what they're supposed to learn from something here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. So we have the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Six of Swords, Air Energy. Okay, so this could be someone who you've been in some sort of separation with, with the Hermit being there. Um, you may often think about this person, and this person often thinks about you as well. Um, with this Knight of Wands energy, there's a desire here to pursue. Someone actually wants to come towards you, because we also have the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. So the, it's like they they have an urge to rush in it's like to be impulsive to be spontaneous to just follow their desire their passion but something is urging them to hold back something is urging them to be cautious this time around they feel like they can't approach you the way that they used to approach you um, so this person is taking their time but they are slowly moving towards you um, with the six of swords being here it's like they want to heal the connection they want to make peace um, it looks as if this could be someone where things with them ended badly because the six of swords it looks like there's some sort of turbulent waters that you guys need to come out of in order to you know uh, fix things or to reconnect in some way here so you could have you know closed yourself off to this person and they are um you know it's like they are missing you they are feeling your absence in some way here and with the six of swords they are curious if you've moved on um there's also a desire to move towards you to make things right to make peace with you here um okay so let's clarify these cards sagittarius So we have the Eight of Wands, and this is fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. So this is a card of communication. So you could be hearing from this person quite soon. They have a lot they want to say to you. They want to express a lot to you. Um, you know, it's like this person, time apart has kind of forced them to really look at themselves to face themselves to go within to reflect on the situation and they've gotten a lot of insights on themselves and the connection and they may want to express to you some of these insights so there is an energy of wanting to come towards you um it, they, with the knight of pentacles it could be a long time since you last heard from this person or they are planning to um, make a move now okay so let's see Okay, we have the Hanged Man in the reverse, Pisces energy, Two of Wands, Fire energy, and the King of Cups, Water energy. So this is someone who has been waiting for the right time. They've taken their time before making a move or approaching you. The King of Cups is someone who's very patient. It's someone who's also very in control of their uh, feelings. They, they're not acting impulsively right now, but they are gaining the, the, the confidence with the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands to to say something but it's not going to be unplanned because with the two of wands that is someone who's reflecting making plans thinking about how to approach and the knight of pentacles is someone who's coming towards you very 
cautiously and slowly, of course. And so we have the hanged man in the reverse, which is again a card of coming out of a period of non-action. So it's like you're going to be hearing from this person soon. Um, they're coming out of this delayed energy. And again, the hanged man is also a card of seeing something from a new perspective. And we have the hermit. So the next time you hear from this person, it's almost like they've they've taken time to reflect before reaching out. So it's, they have a better understanding of the situation and. Um, you know, there's an, it's like their perspective is different. It's a more enlightened perspective, um, a more uh, spiritual perspective as well with the hanged man being there. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So it does look like soon you will hear from this person. It looks like this is someone who you've been separated from for a while. So it's like finally things are starting to, you're starting to see some sort of action, momentum being gained here, um, some sort of revelations here. It's, things are starting to move forward. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So they are coming towards you. They're inching towards you. And they have a lot. It's like they've gotten some sort of clarity on this connection. And they are ready to make a move here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. So we have pansy, sweet thoughts, pray you love, remember, and there are pansies, that's for thoughts. So you have been heavily on this person's mind. They've been reflecting a lot on you with that hermit energy. They they are starting to understand something and they, I'm seeing they're taking a more mature approach this time around. Their feelings run deep here. And again, it's like, they, it's like they, they, they've been thinking a lot about this, thinking about how to approach, what to say, how to do it. And even looking back at old conversations or replaying old conversations in their mind here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and special time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. So you may need to get grounded. There's an energy of um, relying on practicality when dealing with this person. Um, there's also a need to stay grounded. It's like they have a lot they, they want to say and their energy may be a bit overwhelming when they come towards you. We have This is like a lot of communication. So there is a need to stay grounded in some way here yeah, when dealing with this person and um, to stay practical as well. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.